we can talk about dicks. Actually, this super chat could lead us perfectly into a, into another topic. Um, oh God! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jr. Any uh -huh. thoughts on the Jack Kirby religious reboot? I Wait, guess he's religious he, now. I guess yes. that's his new thing that he's coming back and and like I really his new grift. I I was like Jack, you gotta come on. You gotta come on the stream. We'll go through all the memes. It'll be really endearing. He's like, I don't know. I don't think so. And now he's I don't know. Ugh. Do you That's really want to have have just owned it from the beginning, and, like, man? Read super chats and stuff. Do you really want to read super chats to him? Do, do you really uh, do like that? like real questions? You mean like well, just the way he reacted. And I'm not really knocking him because I understand he you know went through this transformation or whatever. But it was like I thought it was crazy the way he yelled at Sydney. But it was, it was yeah, it was so funny it was really bad. People were felt. asking my opinion on it so much because I was the guest on Timcast Live when <gasps> the chat started blowing up with no Kim, way. look at the look at you are here, look at you are here. Jack just went off the rails, blah 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 blah. So I was like live on Timcast while we were like finding so distracting. that out. Yeah. It was so odd. And so I get off and see everything and it was just so confusing. And then I went on You Were Here not too long after that. And then it, it, you could tell like they were they were shaken by it. Sydney was so triggered, like still. Oh man. It was very bad. That must have been very. Did. That must. Have, how did you feel? Like, did you feel like all that drama with him like took away from your appearance at all? I didn't. Oh, it wasn't like that. I didn't. Not really, in a no, not in like a a vain way. But it it seems like it would be a huge distraction. I think like, it was towards the end of the stream, if I'm remember, remembering correctly. But we were still live, and I think we were reading super chats at the end, and people were chatting like, "Oh, watch the Jack Murphy stream. He just went off on Sydney." Blah 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 blah. And I understand he apologized to them, and that's great. The one thing that bothered me was I think when he went back on Timcast afterwards, um, he said that, oh, well, I told I told them to not bring it up. But then Sydney they released didn't. her response video proving that that was false. So that was weird to me. I don't like – I don't dislike him. I find it weird that people would kind of jump on the cancel train and, and feel happy when someone is having the worst moment of their life because that was probably the worst moment of his life. And I mean, I don't feel bad for him. I disagree. I don't think he's the victim here. He tried to deplatform people over his. No, I, yeah, I, don't either. Not with this. Not I agree with you, but not with him. A victim. I have I to pee. I'll be right dude. back. I'm not saying he's a victim at all. Like the part, the part where he was tagging Glenn Beck saying, oh, Sydney Elijah that was attacking me. Like that was fucking mm -hmm. horrible. And he lied and said that that he had told Sydney to not mention it prior when he really didn't. So, yeah. I just, I'm, I guess I'm more critiquing the culture in which everyone was like cheering, like, yeah. Like every time we found out like another picture of a dildo up his ass, everyone was like, yeah. I was like, whoa, like this is weird. But I really think yeah. that if he would have just owned it and, and made a joke out of it and be like, he yeah, I did it. Okay. I wouldn't do it again. But she asked me to. We tried it. And then no one would have cared. Just be yeah. honest. Go Who through cares? the memes. Don't get mad and yell at her. Up. We would have ranked the memes. It would have been fucking great. Yeah, exactly. Just do that. Who cares? If you just own it, no one can hold against you. That's why I tell people everything about my life. I don't give a shit, dude. They'll find out anyway. They can't use anything against me because I don't give a shit. Like, I really don't care. Like, whatever. Just own it. Who cares? Shit well, happens. I don't think... I think the reason people are cheering, though, isn't just because of, like, the typical cancel culture type thing. I think the reason they're cheering is because a hypocrite was getting out it like he's running mm -hmm. this whole manosphere like how to be yeah. masculine meanwhile he's shoving things up his ass and telling men from tinder exactly. to fuck his wife so that's i don't think that's necessarily wrong would have been better that's so true than um, that like i think i'm maybe i'm like empathetic to a fault i just don't like seeing people get canceled in general but yeah, I mean, yeah. he did every he did he handled everything in that situation wrong. He did nothing right. I just you know when I, people get canceled, yeah, yeah. they really don't, and they'll do some really shitty stuff, and they, they'll just be fine. Like nothing ever happens. They get hate for like a day, and then that's it. Nothing ever happens anyway. Who actually uh, disappeared? Oh, besides that one dude, who's that guy? EDP or something? That guy, and they keep following him around and getting him kicked out and fired of all his jobs I don't and know stuff. Who that is. He was like talking to some underage girl. He was like a YouTuber. Well, that's a valid um, reason to get fully canceled. In. I forget his name, but yeah, like he actually uh, probably deserves that. He and was I like think trying to meet minors and shit. So, but he I actually is being canceled and they got him fired and shit from a bunch of places. They would like hunt him down. So he's having a real bad time trying to make money on the internet. 
anymore. I think it was, a, it was so. a combination of like people being like, oh, this is a person who's charging for a membership for like a coaching and he can't even own up to the stuff he's done. And he had yeah, many 70K opportunities. A month. How much? That's what I said. Like, was not like super expensive? I didn't really look too much into how much the liminal order cost. 70K a month he was making because it was like 700 members before everything went down. He lost like half his subs. Oh and then um, in mm. regard to the initial question, by the way, not just to like re only rehash everything, I skimmed through the apology. And the part that I thought was so funny was in middle of him apologizing about how he no longer shoves things up his ass. He finds the time to plug his YouTube channel. It's like, mm -hmm. imagine apologizing for um, essentially being a cock, being like, I let you guys down. By the way, here's where you can find my YouTube channel <laughs> that he like barely posts on or is like barely getting views on. For some reason, yeah, you probably shouldn't advertise an apology. Uh, yeah. It was a long I, apology. It was like I, I called apology like lightheartedly. It was like more of a, like a I'm back post and like trying to be like, oh, I'm Christian now. Um, it was so long though. Like, and someone pointed out, all you have to do in response to that, he can write a whole novel, right? Saying like he's a Christian now or whatever is a shield. All someone has to do is reply one Im image of something getting shoved up his asshole, and it's in the trash. <sighs> yeah. Like, too long didn't read. Here's a photo of your asshole getting rammed. Here's a photo yeah. of your wife changed? eating your ass. Is it possible for him to be redeemed in any way? He could have. my channel and I, go through the memes. No. <laughs> I think he could have, like, even possible. now, instead of do using this cop-out, he could have just, like, owned up to it. But it seems like he's still, on some level, not really owning up to he it. He should have just um, been like, yo, guys, I like to have freaky sex. Like, sue me. <laughs> you yeah. know? Like, like oh, and, well. and everyone would have been Damn. like, all right. He's... If he was just like, yo, it's my kink. That's why I didn't change my appearance and all that stuff was yeah, up there. Yeah, that's why I said but he should have yeah. just did that in the first place. And none of yeah. that would have happened at all. It would have been exactly. fine. No one cares. And like, and, and and own up. That what I think is an obvious part of it is that part of the kink is the fear of being discovered. That's why, mm -hmm. like, you know, that's no why one's you, perfect. Look, so why you still have your trademark beard, and that's okay because people are into all types of like sexual kinks. It's like yeah, that shit ain't nothing. All good, mm -hmm. but it conflicts with him being a Christian though. So he can't be like, oh, I actually want to be a porn star, and like, but I'm a good Christian. It doesn't. It's you're um, having cognitive dissonance. So it's not possible. Mm -hmm. That's why that's the case. And also, this like, I feel like he's just doing a new grift. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, well, now I can pander to the Christians because I know I can abuse Christians because their doctrine says that they have to forgive me. So like and they can't call me out or else they're bad Christians. It's like, ha, gotcha. Here's my new grift. And if you were actually like a Christian, do you think this like um, like he might believe in God or whatever? But the thing is, like. Do you really think he had that much of a change like from one month ago when he's trying to deplatform people? Do you like look at his morals, look at his values. Do you mm -hmm. really think he's genuinely a Christian like that quick in one month? That That's sounds more point. like a grift to me. That's a good point. I think he panicked and maybe didn't have the best advice. Uh, maybe, you know, who knows? Like, I do. When he went and tagged Glenn Beck, though. That was an obvious Oof. attempt to get people fired. Like, that's really, that's, bad. that's probably the worst response he could have made. Yeah, the way he talked to her was really, like, mm, I don't know, man. Like, there was no need that's for that. Much. That is some beta shit. You don't, talk, like, she didn't do anything wrong. And you know that, especially if they really, she didn't know. But he's saying that they talked about it. That's fucked up to like make her feel like that. Like when you, like, know you wrote that the article, you it's anything. not like it's not like somebody else wrote this cuck article about you and they're bringing mm. it up all the time. You fucking wrote the article. So, and like, why yeah. not? Tr like, don't That's have stupid. your same trademark beard. Don't have the world's most recognizable beard. Yeah, in, I know. In your porn and then in your other stuff. I don't is know. Is it real? Is the beard real? I think the hair so is real, says. but like the color. Yeah, so he says. He claims oh, okay. it is. Wait, people wear fake beards? No, I think it's like, <laughs> oh, I didn't color. Think it was like a beard one. Oh, I, I was like, wait, what? Strip <laughs> dyed or not. I mean, girls wear extensions. I don't fucking know. They might have beard extensions. I don't fucking know what they do now. Wait, I have to pee, vamp. Okay. I should, <laughs> they should start calling me Brittany Vampy. My new nickname. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think... Uh, Basically, I think his comeback kind of sucked, though, because honestly, 
he should have just not written an entire fucking novel because now nobody wants to read it. Everyone's like, nah, too long, didn't read. Like, I feel like nobody's actually read it through I and didn't through. Know. I don't really pay right? attention to him. So I don't know <laughs> anything really that he, I don't know if he was like back or just went on Chatterbait again. I wasn't really sure what was going on. He's like, well, everyone knows I do it now. So I might as well just jump on Chatterbait. Fuck it. <laughs> just finish what i started one issue i had was that like a lot of people around me kind of i think it's okay to ignore like the chatterbait stuff if people don't have an opinion on him being a porn star i don't really give a fuck but people um ignored how he treated sydney i thought that was odd and i'm like i'm kind of like i don't know if i'm like close to the tim cast circle like i write for tim cast like the website and there's a lot of people that were kind of like in that circle not necessarily like him specifically but there was just a lot of people who just like ignored it and didn't really want to press him or call him out for treating sydney that badly and, and like if you guys know sydney she's like really nice you did not fucking deserve that shit and it just that made me why that didn't like him the whole thing out. was that nothing yeah. else he did just the way that he talked to her i was like you're a beta like and you're trying to teach dudes to be alpha um you don't talk to a, a woman like that when you know that you're lying like you know that you never said anything about it but you're still doing that to her like that's fucked up like mm, i don't like that that was like uncalled for completely that made him just i didn't really know that much about him but i don't know honestly it just made him look like a bitch talking to her like that so i was like mm, i don't like this dude yeah, and that whole thing conflicts with being alpha, which conflicts with his like program he's charging people hundred dollars a month for. Um, yeah, exactly. What? I don't know. If a I guy like said guys, that shit to, to me, like I, I would just snap. You know, for reading a super chat, I'd be like, "No, go fuck yourself." She like, so even if he's a guest, confused. like she didn't even have time to. No. Respond. Like it wasn't even like her. I don't, it seemed head. kind of off, in, in my opinion, because I don't, I didn't know who any of these people were until that happened. Like I didn't know who Sydney was, didn't know who Jack was, and when I watched it, because it's like, did you know who Mister Dickin Balls was? Brittany <laughs> found out who that was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, no, because she she read the first super chat and he addresses it, and so I thought it was weird that like she would read another one about it because I mean, they don't read I, every single super chat. Yeah, I feel like there was some body language, that, like not just body language, but also I, I think it was pretty apparent like, hey, I addressed this. This is how I want to answer it. I don't want to go further. And then she asked it again. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, as she said, like, I believe her when she says like he didn't tell her not to talk about that. I think what he was referring to was that he implied and showed he was uncomfortable with it. And that's how he wanted to answer the first time she had asked about it. And then mm -hmm. she did it again, so he probably thought it was on purpose. He just mm -hmm. assumed that she knew what the fuck yeah. the book article was. Yeah, he knew that she knew that yeah. he would be offended by it. She had no idea what it was that he wrote it or what the content was. So it was just well, it's like if you're gonna be embarrassed by it, don't put your pu your sex life out in the public. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> or you know, if I'm did, surprised he didn't find it sooner. And you like can't get it back. Like I think he had put it in or. Something happened where he tried to delete it and then someone got it off the way back machine. Or I don't know, maybe. Yeah, it was in an archive, is the way I saw it. You have to be like 100% about it. You have to be like, look. And, and he, I know he said, oh, I've had a kinky past, but like, you need to be more specific than that. <laughs> that could be so many things. Yeah. Um, especially the fact when that people did, actually just look for things is just so pathetic. When like, he did why? My show, Wet Spot, we made an actual joke about him making a sex tape. That's the perfect opportunity to be like, well, mm. I have had. I several. saw like a super cut of like somebody zooming into him when you guys are talking about that. It yeah. was so funny in oh, retrospect. That would have been the time to be like, for real. Okay, actually, I have, you know, and and you know, yeah. what, if, if it comes up one day, like, don't be surprised. I don't know. Yeah, and, exactly. And just be is, honest. No one's perfect, man. Just, just get it out there. Fuck it. And then they can't use it against you. That's like, I don't know why people try to hide things. You cannot hide things on the internet. You just, you just can't. It's just, there's someone that'll fucking find it, man. They have nothing else to think, do. And if they don't like you, they will make it their fucking mission. So just think, lay it all out and say, this is fucking me. If you don't like it, then fucking don't. Like, you're I don't into know. Fuck it. Sexually in 2019, you're probably still into sexually. 2021, <laughs> 2022. You know, yeah. unless they're like Milo Yiannopoulos and you're like, I'm not gay anymore. I'm just yeah, gonna... I don't believe that. I don't, <laughs> I don't either. That's weird. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, if we don't Has believe that Milo's like, gay. Kiss a chick 
anything. Who, who's Milo? I don't know who that is. Milo he's, Yiannopoulos. The SJW, he's, okay. anti -SJW guy. he's one who kind of like set off all the anti-SJW stuff. And he was like the first yeah. person that was like a notable figure to get banned from Twitter in regard to that sphere. One of the OG. I've never, fans, I've like, never heard of him. What, what is, did he <laughs> have a weird that. sex life? <laughs> What's he's going on? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. But now he's not. And no, like he's, he sells Jesus oh, stuff, right? He sells he like, statues. He on, was like, married to a man too. Like he was, um, he like divorced him, I guess. So I have a question. If we're hmm. having a hard time believing What's that Milo it? is like, you know, I'm he's a Google reformed what, Christian. What, he's a reformed Milo Christian. What? Milo Yiannopoulos. It's so if we're having a hard time long believing, Greek. Yeah, it's hard to spell. Um, but if we're having is a hard British? time No, Jewish. he's gay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, if he's um, if we're having a hard time believing that he's straight now, right? Then why would we then suddenly believe? Oh, Jack Murphy's now a completely different person. One month. No, he's probably still into cucking. He probably is still into yeah. the random oh, yeah, sexual shit that he was into. I don't think. Uh, right, because if you like something not in your ass but next to your ass, <laughs> you're not gonna. You're probably still gonna be into that. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing is you can still run your business and yeah. coach others and help people improve their lives with that you being said. You should have made like a whole section like I'll teach you how to take it up the ass like an alpha. Yes, camera angles. You know what I mean? Like fucking for camera 101. Oh, man. That would be easy. Should have did that. Just like, you know, that dude Jody. You know, like it's easy, for us, to, it's easy for us to judge. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's a bad position to be in. Um, it's the way he responded to it. I yeah. I do not judge him for the chatterbait shit as much as I judge him for how he tried to deplatform people. Yeah, yeah, that, same. Who cares about that chatterbait shit? Those people like, are like ever. buddies. Uh, R. James, knowing what we know now about Jack, do you look back at the past dealings with him differently? I think he's a total fraud. Venti is spot on. Um, I looking back, yeah, I do see he I had many he opportunities money. to come to come completely clean, not just say oh, I've had a kinky past. Oh, I used to be hedonistic. Oh, you know, I've done some things. Um, yeah, it's lying by omission. Yeah, I hope he comes back. I hope he has a you know. He should have said, "Look, Cindy, my ass, Sydney, sorry, my <laughs> ass has seen a lot of things. All right, we'll just <laughs> yeah." Leave that. Look, and my no, ass no, no, no. is not exit only. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but like my butthole has seen a lot of things it's go down. So that's door. all I'm going to say about that. Exactly. No one would have cared. Yeah. 